Let's go from Oamaru to South Auckland, where hundreds of young people are uniting in a move to change negative perceptions about their community. They're part of a show called Heads Held High, which is a collection of real-life stories from students around South Auckland. And Dara Stewart has more. Always the bad. Give us a break! Just for one. For the sake of South Auckland, focus on the good. The sound of a community of youth who have united to reclaim their story. Among a cast of 80 students from nine different schools around South Auckland, these kids are frustrated with how the media continually portrays them. Takanini Lafo Lafo, Punipao Lavea and Agnes Milford say they've had enough. We're constantly demeaned by the media, we're constantly discriminated against and like it's just got that negative connotation to it. There's so many good things that us here in South Auckland do but the media just emphasises on the negativity. That's what hurts us. We are not going to let the media, media continue to belittle our value and belittle our culture and our, um, and our family because we are capable. The term South Auckland is often tied to stories of poverty, crime and violence in the media, which reflect on its largely Pacific population. Government figures show populations within some South Auckland suburbs are among the lowest income earners in the country and hold some of the highest crime rates. Cast members Agnes Tito Finau, Peter Leo Pepe and Takanini say there's so much more to where they live. There are so many things that the media and um, people out there misplace. We are misunderstood. We aren't just thugs, criminals. We're not just, you know, um, young, stupid students looking for a fight. We're kids working hard, but that's something you never see on the media. We are also good parents, good brothers, good sisters, um, good children. I am not what um, the media has said about me or my people. I am not the criminal that you see on Police 10 7. I am not the person that you see on the headlines. When you see something on TV, or you see someone who you know has a lot of power and they say something, you end up believing it because you're like, oh, that person's on TV, you know, then you're like, that person must be telling the truth. Local high school teacher and co-director of the show, Denise Sua, agrees. The media continuously get it wrong and that's that's the, the struggle, is trying to prove to people that we are more than, than what the media thinks. Agnes points to a recently published headline as an example. Manurua High School, the uh, Will Smith dance, um, Manurua is obviously in South Auckland, and the fact that the media said, oh, Auckland school gets acknowledged by um, Will Smith, but when it's something like a brawl fight, it's South Auckland. South Auckland um, in a school brawl fight. Masua says she has seen firsthand how powerful words can be. How do people learn about South Auckland? They learn about it through the media. And anyone that's from South Auckland knows how dangerous that can be because it creates um, yeah. deficit thinking within the minds of young South Aucklanders. Michelle Johansson is the creative director of the Blackfriars Theatre Company behind the show. She says that over the last two years, the show has given South Auckland kids a chance to tell their own stories. If you really want to disempower people, all you have to do is tell their story for them. Um, recently at the Education Summit, the keynote speaker from Ngāti Whātua said, if you do it without me and for me, then you do it to me. And we're sick of South Auckland having things done to them. Co-director Siosaya Folau says that often stereotypes of people living in South Auckland can become stereotypes for Pacific people in general. He says watching the students reclaim their story is inspiring. I come from a generation where there was no such platforms. It's overwhelming. It's, it's, it's definitely... Um, it's so cool to be able to be a part of uh, such a project. Siosaya Folau says he hopes the production will enable more people from South Auckland to be proud of where they come from. Mo te hōtaka o te ahi pō nei, ko Ndira Stewart aho.